Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to get your character to ride a bicycle, how to ride a scooter, and finally how to ride a horse. So we're using this side-facing Elastic Folks character here, just for your reference. And the first thing we're going to talk about is how to get your character to ride a bicycle. Now we're going to approach these all using different methods, okay? So just uh, follow along. The first thing we're going to do is get our character to ride a bike, like I mentioned. So we're going to go to our animation tab over here, and under the motion folder, I've downloaded a separate content pack called G3 Human Motions Smooth Moves. And under Elastic Folk's side, we'll find a perform folder where you can find lots of dances, swimming, diving, uh, and there's one called riding a bike right here. Okay, so let's just apply that to our character at frame one. You can see there's a little bump in the road there. And we can, you know, press F3, go into our timeline, into the motion track, and just uh, loop that if we want by uh, clicking and dragging right here. And it'll loop that animation for us. Oops, there we go. All right, so let's go back to frame one, close down the timeline now. And what we need to do is add the bike to our character. Now the first method we're gonna use is attaching that as a uh, prop, basically as an accessory to your character. Uh, so we need to go into composer mode first. And in composer mode, our character will straighten out. And what we need to do is apply that bike to our hip bone. So let's select the hip bone here, go to the content manager and under props, under G3 Animated Props, fun stuff. Again, a separate content pack available. Um, we'll go to Transportation, and there is an animated bike at the top. So what we want to do is just double-click that bike once the hip bone is applied there. And we will just uh, position that down by the ground plane right there. So the next item of business here, I'm going to just uh, make the bones invisible, is we're going to need to make the left side of our character in front of the bicycle. So to do that, let's go over here to our uh, layer manager here, and I'm just gonna collapse this list right now. And you can see all the bicycle items are at the top and everything else is at the bottom. So what we need to do is select everything on the left side of the character. We can just uh, control select all the L stuff and also the head and the hip maybe. And we need to bring those to the top of our character. So select the first one right here and we'll click and drag that all the way to the top. Okay, and you can see that we may need to like reposition or relayer some of the stuff, like taking the head above the uh, hip layer there, and this hand needs to go above the uh, the arm, and we'll take this uh, foot as well, bring that above the uh, thigh, and everything should work out fine and dandy. So now we have the left side of our character in front of the bicycle, and the right side behind, which is what we want. So let's go ahead and test out the animation. We'll go back to our stage mode here, and what we want to do first is position this bicycle in the correct position. So we'll just you know make it a little bit straight. And we need to uh, probably stretch it out a little bit. We want to make sure that the uh, pedals of the bicycle are on our character's feet. So something like that would be okay. Again, you can uh, stretch it out and uh, to your heart's content. Uh, I think that should be okay, okay right there. And if we play back, you can see there's our character biking along, but the bike isn't moving. So we can just right-click the bike, go to the action menu, and there is a bike moving animation. All right, so there's our dude just, you know, pedaling along and looking fine and dandy. So that's an easy way to, uh, you know, attach a, a, a prop to your character as an accessory uh, in composer mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, start another example here. I'm going to uh, delete the bicycle right now in stage mode. And we're going to uh, select our character. And under animations, we're now going to apply a scooter animation. So under uh, actually G3 humans, under our G3 humans here, under Elastic Folk's side, or rather it's under uh, Idle and Talk here, you'll see there's a Pose Sit, Pose Ride Horse, and Pose Ride Scooter. So let's go ahead and just, uh, first of all, let's right-click our character to remove the uh, previous animation there. And then we'll click and drag this Pose Scooter. So there's our character in his uh, scooter pose. Now it's at frame 8. Make sure you go back to frame 1 here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do the same thing. In uh, Composer mode, we can go over here and... Uh, I'll show you a quick, a quick issue with our character first. Let's show the bones here again. Go to our content manager, or rather it's under G, our main G3 animated props folder here. And I'll find a scooter closer to the bottom where the S's dwell, okay? So again, we can click and drag this to our character's hip bone. That's another way to do it. You don't need to have the bone selected and click and drag it over there. All right, so there's our uh, scooter. We can just position it wherever we want. And let's go back into uh, stage mode here and take a look at our character on the scooter. So again, just you know, position the scooter where we want. Uh, it needs to be a little bigger, obviously. So let's uh, enlarge that slightly. We'll place it somewhere like that. There you go. Okay, and there's our character uh, riding the scooter. So let's right-click the scooter, go to Action Menu, and just go Scooter Moving. 
Now here's the problem with this method is you can see that the scooter is moving, but our character isn't moving. So this is one situation where you may want to have your character linked to an object, okay? So everything looks fine except our character isn't moving. So what I'm going to do is we're going to add in another actor. I'm going to go to G3 Human. And let's bring in a side-facing uh, female character here, uh, right here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to pose her so that she's, uh, you know, riding the scooter. Maybe we can make her a little bit smaller there. And under animation, uh, same G3 Human, idle and talk. There is the uh, pose ride horse. So we can use this as if she's, you know, riding on the back of the scooter. Again, take that back to uh, frame one here. And we can go over here. And we can also move it a little bit forward on the Z-axis, just like this. So she's in front of the scooter right there. All right. And then what I want to do is make sure that we link this female to the scooter. And here's where you'll see the difference. So we'll select link and we'll just select the scooter. Okay. And with the scooter selected, you can see the female will kind of bump along with the scooter, but the male will remain stationary. So that's the advantage that Link has over just, uh, you know, attaching a, a prop as an accessory to your character. When you have the uh, prop separate, you can link a character to it and it'll follow the motions of the props. So let's use one final example here. I'm just going to go create a new project and we'll bring in our horse. So let's go to actors here. And under G3 Animals Horses, again, this is a separate content pack. I'm going to bring in this horse 01. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is apply a saddle to our horse just for safety purposes. So let's go over here back again to uh, composer mode. And in the content manager, we will find uh, props, G3 accessories, and animals. And you'll find a saddle here. Now we're going to click and drag and apply the saddle to the horse's uh, chest bone here. Okay, because that's where most of the movement takes place on the horse. All right, and we'll zoom in, just kind of you scale that up and position it slightly. All right, um, you're not, not scaled up that much here. We'll make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, good enough. All right, so we'll use the saddle in that position right there. So we've applied that to the hip bone. And I'll show you how to overcome that situation where if you link the character to the accessory or link the character to the uh, prop rather, you know, you won't be able to put uh, different body sprites on different sides of the animal. So let's go to the actor again here and we're going to bring in, let's just bring in our regular old dude here, uh, elastic male side facing. All right. And we'll give him a uh, riding a horse pose. Under animation, we saw that uh, um, elastic folk side, idle and talk. Uh, riding horse pose right here. All right. And back at frame one, we'll place him on top of the horse. Make sure he's a little bit further up on the Z axis here. All right. There we go. And that should be fine. Now, obviously, if we link our character to the horse here, the problem is not many people ride horses on one side like this. We need to be straddling the horse. So you can link this to the horse, link your character to the horse. And we need to make sure we select the uh, horse's chest bone. Again, the same one that the saddle is uh, linked to there. And let's apply an animation to our horse here. So uh, horse action menu. We can just go ahead and select uh, trot start, trot loop, uh, trot end or whatever. So let's just uh, loop our trot a few times. Press F3, go into our timeline. And let's just uh, loop that a few times just for effect here. All right, so you can see our character is moving along fairly nicely with the horse and everything looks fine and dandy. However, again, we need to put the uh, right side of the leg on the other side of the horse or the right leg rather on the, on the horse. So what we want to do in this case, what we can do in this case is make sure our character is selected and it's kind of a shortcut. So you can just go over here to the sprite editor and with your right leg selected, just change it to an empty slot right here. And that'll make your right leg disappear. So a really quick and easy fix right there. We can do the same thing with the foot. Just change it to an empty slot and voila, it, makes, uh, it looks like our character is now straddling the horse. Okay, so that's really about it. That's uh, the three methods you can use to uh, you know, attach your character to, uh, to a prop, or it could be a prop or an animal, like an animal in this case, and also how to uh, link your character, and also how to use a prop as an accessory on your character to make it part of your character so you can set certain sprites on the other side using the layer manager. All right, so thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you learned a lot. Make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.